I'm guessing many of you that clicked on this video really don't like the new region locking system that Wally has put in place. I personally feel like it was shoehorned in and doesn't really fit the game. But luckily modders have come to our rescue. Today I'll be showcasing and showing you how to install a customizable mod that lets you remove region locking for any and all items of your choice. Alright, so what you want to do if you want to download this mod is go to the Reddit thread linked in the description of this video. Click this link to download the mod. You're going to click keep and then to use the mod you're going to launch keyboard then launch the mod exe. Once you've launched the mod there are many settings you can play with. You can turn on and off any of these items you want to keep between regions. Once you have decided, just enter 0 to start the mod. Now as you can see with the mod installed, I can cross to any region and keep all of my items instead of having my gear, mobility items and dungeon items reset. You can customize any of this to your liking but I personally don't want anything to reset. Even my armor and weapon aren't nullified anymore. Each time I change a region, all my armor that I'm wearing and my weapon are converted to that new region. This mod has removed the absolute chore it is to get every single item back after going to a new region, and I suspect this mod is a must have for many players. Please give a huge thanks to Hacksifix who made this wonderful mod. Now just keep in mind, this mod is client side, so if you are playing with a friend, they too will need to run the mod, unless they want to have region locked items for whatever reason. The developer of this mod, Hacksifix, has expressed interest in expanding his mod to add many more features as he has stated on the Steam forums. I'll leave a link to the thread in the description. For now, I'll read out some of his notable comments. The tool will eventually be able to do way more than just remove the region lock mechanic. I just decided to release the tool early with only that feature so the community can get an idea of how the game feels with it removed. I am hoping that this starts discussion as to what can possibly be changed and it will evolve from there. If anybody has any suggestions, I would love to hear them. Once the tool is in a more stable state, most likely after the full release, I will be releasing it open source to the community so it can be extended and developed by everyone. The full tool, which hasn't been released yet, has a teleport feature. It currently has a crude inventory editor which allows spawning and manipulating some aspects of the item, but I want to flesh this out more as well as develop a good UI for it. Currently the tool is entirely command line which is not the easiest to use. I haven't fully reversed the player structure yet so I'm not able to fully read and modify all the player stats. However, this is something that I am actively working on and plan to include in the future releases. I am currently working on adding combat modifiers to artifacts and or loading custom artifacts into the engine. I believe the former will be easier but I will keep everyone updated with what I find out. Thank you all for the support. Hacksifix seems like a great guy and I am super glad he's taken charge of the modding community. I definitely suggest keeping up with him and his work if you are interested in the keyboard modding scene. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Welcome to all the new subs, uh, this week has been incredible, there's so many new people. I love all of you, thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye bye!